Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Mike of Need Test. We're doing another ship battles video, and this ship battles video is of a German liner used of a used as a prison ship prison ship in 1945. This ship was named the SS Cape Arcona. Let's get on with the story, shall we? The Cape Arcona was named after Cape Arcona with a K, not a C, used in the ship's name of the island uh, of the island of Rugen. The Cape Arconia uh, uh, was built uh, from 1926 to 1927. When the uh, Cape Arcona was built, she was she was one of the proudest ships of the German line in her time. She, she was very luxurious and had the modern, uh, most modern technology aboard at the time. The ship had many features aboard, like a winter garden, a ballroom, a dining room, a grand staircase. A spoky rib, a bar, a first class lounge, and a very luxurious pool. In this model you can see of the Cape Arcona, you can see that her funnels were painted uh, red and white. Kind of like America, but now blue. This, uh, this was probably distinctive her from the other German ships. Well, if you count the Cape uh, Pol Polonio, these were the first two ships that had red, red and white funnels, but still. The ship would make runs from Germany, Hamburg, and Hamburg, Germany, to South America, pretty much like the Zeppelins uh, uh, of her time. Now, uh, yes, sir, this ship was mighty beautiful, uh, beautiful, until she became an accommodation ship in 1940. Now, when I mean accommodation ship, I mean a ship that is like a floating barracks where people would uh, would train on. This was the Cape Arcona, and also. The most, the fa the most, fa the probably most famous German liner of her time, the Wilhelm Gustloft. In fact, there was many pictures of the Cape Arcona with the, uh, uh, with the um, uh, Wilhelm Gustloft. However, Cape Arcona would be most famous in the 1943 film Titanic, a German propaganda film directed by Joseph Goebbels. Even though there are several things wrong with the film. First of all, the grand, uh, the dining saloon, uh, saloon of the uh, Cape Arcona was much bigger than the Titanic. But but even though the sh two the two ships did look beautiful, uh, the interior did look uh, beautiful at the Titanic's. This gave the Cape Arcona the name of the Nazi Titanic. Joseph Goebbels would never uh, would never uh, had never liked his film. The next day after the film was released, he hanged himself. However. Her life as a accommodation ship was uh, was ended in 1945 when she became a evacuation ship for the for Operation Hannibal, the same operation that sealed the fate of Wilhelm Gustloft. After this, Adolf Hitler was at the final stages uh, of Nazi Germany, but he had a plan, a deadly plan. On May 3rd, 19, 1945, the the Cape Arcona and the liners Thielbeck and Deutschland were put outside the harbor of the Bay of Lübeck, where thousands, with thousands of, of prisoners uh, uh, from from Scandinavian countries. Adolf Hitler's plan was to use the ship as targets for the AR for the RAF, the uh, the British uh, Air Company uh, Air um, Air Force, and would kill the uh, these innocent people. There were many women and children on board the ship. Also, if people any uh, even tried to uh, um, swim ashore, they would be, be they would be beaten on the beach or shot dead by machine gun fire. This, in fact, was true in the case of the Cape Arcona's disaster. When the RAF came, they did serious damage. Soon, the ship was a fire astern. Then, it spread to the bow. The ship was now a flaming inferno. Even still, P even when prisoners d began to die, prisoners began to, uh, to swim the shore. They were shot by machine gun fire and du and were beaten by uh, soldiers on the beach, many of whom were women and children. Many pe many people were lost their lives in in the disaster of the Cape Arcona, the intentional disaster of the Cape Arcona. It was too much for the ship. She capsized. In 1949, the ship, nicknamed the Nazi Titanic was dismantled, 
what breaks my heart, guys, is that people that the Germans put prisoners on this ship, women and children, and used the RAF to attack it without even knowing there were prisoners aboard, and shot uh, uh, and with machine guns, shot uh, uh, shot many people uh, in the water and beaten them on the beach. This is absolute tragic and very horrific. And this even happened happened three days after Hitler's suicide. The Cape Arcona was once a beautiful ship, but then she became a prisoner for 5,000 people. The survivors of the Cape Arcona, there were 16 sailors, 400 SS men, and, uh, and 20 SS women. There were only three, uh, 530 of the, ca uh, of the inmates that, that survived. Because of her involvement in the movie Titanic in 1943, the ship was named, uh, was named, nicknamed the Nazi Titanic, and many and many uh documentaries were made about the ship and her involvement in the movie and her uh, and her uh, intentional sinking. However, she will be most famous with appearing in the movie Titanic in 1943. Thank you for hearing the story of a once beautiful ship, then became a prison prison ship for fi for five thousand lives lost. It I hope this ship will be remembered, and for the awful, uh, uh, for the awful cruelty that these people did to this ship and five thousand people, women and children included. Thank you guys for enjoying this video. This is Magmanita signing out on the tragic fate of the SS Cape Arcona. Thank you very much.